and now can I introduce you to the man who made it all happen, <laughs> Mr. T. Oliver Kobe of the Great. It's really cool to be in London. Um, I'm from Long Island, New York, and that's pretty much the inspiration when people ask, how did you come up with creatures, if you've ever been to Long Island, New York, you know. Um, basically, I started creatures. Before creatures started, I started out, I was one of those kids that was always down in the cellar making creatures, making horror monsters, doing all that kind of stuff. And I wanted to get into special effects and do special effects makeup, as, you know, out in Hollywood, and, you know, do all kinds of gory, creepy stuff. And I did haunted houses a lot. And when I was doing a haunted house one day, and somebody came over who had a gift company and said, if you can make that stuff soft and squishy, because I was making big paper mache creatures, then I could sell it. So what I did was I kind of modified the materials I was using and came up with what became a patented material, which is rubber plush, which is what we make the backpacks out of. We can make, it's got a wide range of things to make. The first stuff was really rough and kind of, you know, really folk arty kind of stuff. But we found that we could sell it to a number of different places, and we got lucky. And uh, a sales, I wound up getting sales reps and selling right out of the cellar. I was working at home, working in the cellar, you know, just kind of cranking out as much as I could. We wound up getting six sales companies to sell them, and we just made the handmade things and sold them directly. You know, what we made is what we sold. Worked 100 hours a week and did all that. We got into Disney World, we got into Universal Studios, we got into over 200 stores across the country, but it was like really killing me. I mean, I was working eight in the morning to one in the morning and work, work, work. So what happened was um, I had heard of Storm and I said, well, gee, you know, there's gotta be another way. Maybe I could license it out. I knew that we had phenomenal success based on, you know, a little operation in the basement, just kind of a few people working together horrible hours. But every time it was shown, and any kind of trade show, we went to Toy Fair, we went to the gift show, our sales reps would walk in the door to places and people would want to buy it. So I was like, you know, there's got to be an easier way. So we started to, we decided to start to try to license. And um, I walked in with a character to Storm in New York and I said, you know, I'd like to try to develop this or work with this. And that was about a year and a half ago. And since then, we've worked on developing storylines and, you know, making the characters a little bit more commercial and working on this and that. And it's met with phenomenal success. And I'm really not the best person to tell you about the success. So I'll hand the mic over to somebody else. Thank you. Tom, if you think you're not going to be working 100 hours a week from here on in, you're under some illusion. Um, we, uh, we had tremendous